I've been in the YouTube and the content creation space for the past, what, official seven years now at this point. And it's two things, two key core principles that I had to learn in order for me if I wanted to become successful in this field or any other field that I wanted to become successful in. These two principles can be very simple to understand but can be very, very difficult to maintain for an extended period of time for any individual. And I know this for a fact. However, if you are able to exercise and maintain these two key principles for an extended period of time in whatever field that you're dealing in, man, you can be successful in that field. And I guarantee you, bro, it's gonna pay you dividends in the long run if you're able to maintain these two key principles, bro. So pay close attention. The first key characteristic one would need in order to improve whatever situation that they are in their life in regards to business, personal, whatever the case may be, one must develop a keen sense of consistency. One may refer to consistency as the physical nature of something or the characteristic of a certain thing, such as the texture of an object or maybe even the texture of a liquid. For example, if somebody had a juice or a smoothie, an individual may say, wow, this smoothie is thin. This will win. God, I ain't got down this, this smoothie look thin on my end. I ain't gonna lie. Or they may be like, man, this juice is very thick. It just coming like a smoothie. It happens. And of course, you are referring to a form of consistency, but in regards to the nature of this conversation, I'm in reference to the term consistency as it is quoted in the Cambridge Dictionary. The word consistency is defined as the quality of always behaving as or performing in a similar way. Why this is so important is because the very act of performing and putting this concept into practice has been the main reason for success of the individuals that you may look up to or that you may aspire to be like. To give y'all a brief example of exactly what I'm talking about, I want to address the story Story of a very successful man that you may know about. I start off with Mr. Fred Smith, the founder and formerly known as the CEO of Federal Express, or what we know today as FedEx. He officially launched FedEx in 1973. He had a goal and mission in mind to start his very own air delivery service. Early on, just like any other business, man, it was really tough for him. It cost so much money to keep a business like that afloat in that arena. Man, I can just only imagine it cost millions of dollars to try and keep a business like that running even back then so with that being said he was required to make a lot of extreme sacrifices to keep his business running and to also keep his dream alive he knew exactly what he wanted and he was not gonna stop until his dreams manifested in real time he knew that if he wanted Federal Express to work he was gonna have to apply some crazy discipline and some crazy consistency to keep that going constantly pouring money into advertising and marketing investments in real estate in different work locations for all his employees investing into land delivery vehicles and aircraft, paying for expensive fuel for both his land vehicles and his aircraft, reaching out to obtain relationships and getting contracts with different companies around the country, bro. I just know it wasn't no walk in the park to get all that off the ground. I know it took some consistency in his work ethic. I know it took some consistency in his dreams. He knew that if he kept on working, eventually things was going to work out in the end. As a result of all the hard work that he put in and all the applied consistency that he put in, y'all can literally see the byproduct of FedEx and what it has become. It's reached international status. I mean, you can't go nowhere without either seeing or hearing about FedEx anywhere you go. And what's crazy is it all started with his dream, bro. Him not giving up on his dream, continuously believing, continuously staying consistent with the work he knew he had to do in order for him to become successful in the field in the first place. Now his whole family is freaking set, bro. They don't have to worry about anything ever again, like, bro. And the other key characteristic Mr. Smith knew he had to learn and apply to become one of the best to ever do it, which in my opinion is very underrated. You really don't hear many people speak about, everybody talks about being consistent, being consistent. What is like, what will happen if you just continuously just be consistent, just be consistent. But people very seldomly talk about the idea and the importance of being persistent. And the true meaning of the word persistence means to continue firmly or obstinately in a course of action despite difficulty or opposition. It makes so much sense to me because one would deem staying on track to be very difficult at times when you're dealing with 
anything. But the way to fight through those times when the going gets super tough, or them times you may not want to, or feel like carrying on. Persistency should be applied in exercise because that's the only way you'll be able to be a contender for the long haul. A lot of us may look at the road to success for any of our endeavors to be like this straight and narrow path, and that's hardly never the case. Through our journeys, trials and tribulations will be guaranteed, so the best thing we can do is, one, prepare. Two, we gotta embrace it. And last but not least, we gotta keep it moving. Majority of the time, we get caught up in like this victim mentality of things that are negatively transpiring in our lives. And it made me come to realize that it's not necessarily what happens to you, but how you tend to react to what happens to you is what's most important. So to conclude this video, if you wanna become the best, you wanna be successful in whatever field that you win, and you wanna become that 2.0 version that you see in the mirror each and every day, it is extremely important that you become consistent in any area that you decide to go in any area you may look to improve in and of course apply persistence when times get hard and it'll all work out in the end and if you don't believe me shit check your ass friends milk <laughs> <laughs>